Hey everyone, David here. I want to talk to you a little bit about how to get to your freedom point faster than you ever thought possible. Uh, and, I, and there's an epiphany that I had some years ago, and I'm going to demonstrate that just a little bit for you. But let's talk about what freedom is. What's freedom to you? To me, freedom is doing what you want to do, when you want to do it, and with whom you want to do it. Right? That's true freedom. Now, that doesn't mean you have to stop doing something that you consider uh, work or service or owning a business or whatever it is you deliver. It doesn't mean you have to stop that. It just means you have the choice or the option to do that how you want to do it, when you want to do it, and for the people you want to do it for. You're not forced to do things on a time frame or agenda or schedule that don't fit with your life. Now, for most people's life, lives, they go through their entire life living on other people's agenda. Other people, businesses, corporations um, control what they do. And that's a problem in our society because I don't think it's the right way to live. We're, we're built that way. We have limiting beliefs. That's what we've been told is we have to live a life by trading time for dollars, being in a business or a career or uh, an employee, earning wages that allow us someday so that we can actually you know, live some kind of retirement life. And I think that's just baloney. I think that to, to wait that way that long is, 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 is not the right thing to do. Some 13, 14 years ago when my daughter Jenna was really, really sick and she was undergoing a life-saving liver, liver transplant, which had a lot of complications, I came to a point where I said, I've got to change my life. If I don't do it now, there may not be another opportunity for me to spend time with Jenna. She'd already gone through and survived leukemia, survived epilepsy, and now it's a liver transplant. And I'm still working in my practice, doing what I thought I was supposed to do. But I wasn't, wasn't feeling good about it, right? Because it was a stretch for me to try to get out of the practice, to spend time with her when she was sick. But I'm her dad. I need to be there. So how do you change that paradigm? When you're the breadwinner, when your job is to provide financial security for your family, but you also feel an obligation and you want to be there, how do you do that? How do you deal with that dichotomy? Well, I made a decision. I looked really hard at my financials and came up with what I call my number. What's my number? What number did I need to have in terms of passive cash flow, that is income cash flow, that did not require me to go to work, to an office every day? What did that number look like? And when I got really granular about it and threw away all the stuff that I thought needed to be there to you know, provide a wonderful, great lifestyle for my family, and I just got down to how can I create a lifestyle that, where we're just together and forget all the other stuff? And when I got down to that point, it wasn't so much. And fortunately, I had built up a decent portfolio in real estate by that time. And when I looked at the numbers, I had enough to accommodate that particular level of lifestyle, which the main thing is let me spend my time with my family and not be strapped to a practice. Now, here's the key point about that. You think, well, gee, David, I understand why you did that. You did the right thing, but you know, for me, I couldn't do that. I couldn't ask my family to, to, to move to a different house or, or, or not to have the nice cars and furniture and vacations. You know what? You don't have to stay there. If you'll make that number as small as you can and get your family on board and then get free or get some freedom, maybe you can't get completely out of your job, career, or practice, but get some freedom, the more free time you have, the more time you have to work on, not in, but on leveraging those investments, the capital you've already built. See, whatever my number was 13, 14 years ago, that number, has, that number, the actual revenue, has increased and magnified many, many times with a lot less work because I don't have to trade time or dollars. I can actually work on leveraging the investment, investments, my network, my relationships, which is what all magnifies the results. And I can do that on a few hours a week. I do what I get to do today because I love what I do and I can spend time with my family. I can travel whatever it is I want to do because I had that epiphany and I promise you had Jenna not undergone what she went through, I probably wouldn't have come to that conclusion. I would probably still be in my practice like many of you are. So I'm telling you this works. This works and I've, I've watched other doctors do it in Freedom Founders. You can actually do this yourself but I would recommend you, you form an association with other people that have already done it or on that same path. That's the way to make it happen. That's the way to give you the confidence and get you past those sticking points that will hold everybody up. We all have sticking points. I just pushed through hard because I had a real reason why. It was about my daughter. I didn't let anything stop me. What's stopping you? That's my question. What is stopping you? Don't let anything stop you. Make it happen. Determine your number and, and get free. Get some level of freedom and everything will expand much, much faster than trying to do it and wait till you're 65 or 70 years old when, heck, it may be too late. It may be too late. All right, that's it for today. Remember, always stay focused on your freedom. I'll see you next time.